Adventures. Happy day. So today's video is a breakfast of the week for us. Uh, it's not necessarily full on recipes. It's more for ideas. I took you Monday through Friday of what we eat. Um, I don't remember if I plated them all, but it's definitely all of our breakfast. I hope you get some good ideas for it. If you have any questions, leave it down below. Um, yeah, have a beautifully blessed day. So it's Monday morning and we are having uh, rolled oats, so oatmeal with some, with one chopped up apple and some craisins. And I just cooked this in water, a little pat of butter and a little bit of milk. And then I'm going to serve it with some more milk and top it with maple syrup or honey. I will do maple syrup and my husband and son will probably do um, some honey and then sprinkle some cinnamon on top. And it is so good. I like to also stir almond butter in this, but I'm out right now. Um, but this is really good and you can top it with like other stuff like hemp seeds, um, coconut flakes, a uh, whole bunch of things. And then this is actually breakfast plated. Hold on my man. This is my husband's. It just has cinnamon and honey um, topping it. And then I do a mix of like chia, hemp, and flax seeds. And this is mine. It has maple syrup instead of honey, and then it's topped with coconut flakes. And then my son's is also topped with honey and coconut flakes. Today for breakfast, we're having quinoa. This is just quinoa that was soaked overnight and then cooked in water. And then I'll put that in the bowl, um, serve it with some heavy cream, some dried cherries or cranberries. Uh, top with orange zest, actually before the orange zest, a dollop of uh, ricotta, then the orange zest, some slivered almonds, and sweetener of choice. I like maple syrup. My husband will probably use honey, but this is really good. Nice and fluffy I quinoa. I have a dollop of ricotta. And I don't know where I got this recipe from. <clears throat> I mean, it evolved over years. I think I saw someone on the Food Network do it. I don't even know no, when, like, no. more than 10 years ago for sure. I don't even know if this is like the way they did it, but this is just the way like I've evolved it. Some heavy cream. Dried cranberries. Oh, thank you, husband. Hey, Baba. Come on. Some orange zest. Come on. Someone's hungry. Excuse Elijah. But this just adds a nice brightness to it. And some almonds. And I'll top this one with honey for Elijah, but this, you guys, is so good. Happy breakfast. And it's Tuesday. So today is Wednesday? Today is Wednesday, and we're having kind of like a make-your-own smoothie for Elijah. And for me, I'm doing a, a peanut butter. There's frozen bananas over there. So peanut butter, banana, chocolate, oatmeal smoothie. And I like to add oatmeal to it because it gives it more like sustenance. It makes you full for longer. Um, it's really, really good. The bananas are frozen. And I'll probably add a puck or two of frozen yogurt. And the husband is making more of a fruit smoothie. What are you adding? Bananas, pineapples, and some blueberries. So that will be his. Are you going to add water or milk or anything? Probably just water. And then um, I'll add water and some milk to this one. So that looks like a really big smoothie and I get it, it is, but I will get way less than half because Elijah adores this smoothie and he, I mean, he eats a lot. So that's why this one's so massive compared to my husband's. 
because we do this smoothie often and Elijah will leave me essentially like this much down. So, bon appetit. This is Wednesday's breakfast. So today is Thursday morning and I guess I should have done a little video about like the step-by-step -step kind of process. But I took one of um, yesterday's lunch baked potatoes, chopped it up, put it on the bottom here. First I buttered the dish. And there I have a little hand going for the cheese. Huh? ¿Qué estás haciendo? I'm going cheese. Uh, I guess. Guess. No sé, tú decime. It's a plato. Sí, es un plato. Anyway, so it's the chopped up baked potato. I sprinkled a little bit of um, frozen breakfast sausage that I had. Uh, I whisked up five eggs with a little bit of cream and milk, salt and pepper. And then there's cheese. I was going to put um, ooh, yeah, excuse you, some chopped up um, like spinach and stuff. But my husband doesn't do the best with cooked spinach, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to pop it into the oven. So this is breakfast. I did get distracted and overbaked it just a tad. But it's not bad. Um, and then I will serve that with some sliced avocado, mm. some chopped up tomato, and then um, like the power greens mix on the side. So I'll cut into it right here just so you can see. And there's the perfect little slice. With all the yumminess inside. This is Elijah's breakfast. Um, I kind of just tear up the spinach a little bit for him so it's easier for him to chew. And I dice the tomato a little smaller and this is what he'll be having. I'll have some warm milk with that. And then this is mine. It's a side of cars. And uh, my husband will be eating his a little bit later because he went to like do our account for water. I don't know, it's been like a whole ordeal to get the water under our name over here, but anyway, this is my breakfast. Today's Friday morning, and this is my regular pancake recipe, and I'm making sheet pan pancakes, um, so I'm literally just pouring this into here. I buttered this. This is a quarter sheet tray. And I have some mini chocolate chips here. Um, I like to do about half. I might do the whole thing. Do you want um, all mini chocolate chips? Yeah. Are you This will just be yummy and fun. And my son loves chocolate chips. That's what we all do. And then I'm just gonna pop this into the oven. So here it is, all baked up, fresh out of the oven. It was in there for about 12 minutes, I think. It's just nice and golden brown on the top. I'm going to cut it up and serve it with um, bananas and maybe a pat of butter on top and maple syrup. So this is Elijah's breakfast. It's uh, two of these squares, which he'll probably eat at least one more. And one banana. I topped it with some hemp seeds and a little bit of maple syrup. And that is Elijah's breakfast.